Hi everyone, thank you for joining. So yeah, just first thing first things first, uh this is my natural hair cut. My hair is super uber short. But um I do wear extensions and you've probably seen them in some of my videos. Uh but yeah, this is my normal hair and today I decided I mean usually I'll usually go like like a day with like my sh my hair short or I'll put on extension things like that you know I really don't care okay so today is I'm gonna be doing a review on the profusion palette once this one's called sultry and neutral and this one's called midnight fever and you can only get them at Walgreens in stores. They do not sell them online. Uh, I've actually seen them or searched for them on Profusion's uh, website and they do not have it. So you can only get them exclusively at Walgreens. If you, if you do get to see them like in another store or whatever, just put them in a comment below. That way anybody else or any other user users youtube users or see the, the people that see the videos that way they can also know where to get them at so yeah i'm gonna try to be fast yet very detailed on the review uh so this is the first one this is the and it still has a packaging it comes with like it gives you like the picture of how it looks like and then you open it and this is the colors and put it really close by that way you guys can see it Okay, and as you can see, it also comes with an eyeliner and a uh, doe foot applicator. Let me just <laughs> drop the liner. Oh, well, this is what it looks like. Let me just do it one more time. And as you can see, it has just neutral colors. It has one, two, three, four, and five uh, mattes, and it has one, two, three four and five shimmer ones um it looks very beautiful i mean just by looking at it i couldn't resist they are 4.99 at your local walgreens and <clears throat> i actually first saw them on novia cheap and i'll put novia cheap's uh i guess it's it's a blog spot and i'll put it down below that way you guys can check it out also it has some pictures as well and on the sultry neutrals all the ones that are matte, they do not have great color payoff. It's they're not pigmented, as you know the other ones. Let me just like do some swatches for you of the matte ones. That's the first one. That's the second one, and as you can see, it's very very sheer. Third one, and fourth one. And I'm missing one. Oh yeah, I'm missing the first one. They're not that pigmented. I was quite sad or disappointed at seeing these colors or these five matte colors, which they look gorgeous on the palette. Um, especially these two. This one actually looks like Buck and Naked from the Urban Decay Naked 1 and Naked 2. They look very similar. But the color payoff, it's not that great. Um, even though, I mean, despite the fact that they're not that pigmented, I still like this palette because of the rest of the colors. Uh, they do, I mean, the matte ones still have some color payoff, but you just have to, like, keep on applying and applying some, or reapplying them. And then you have the shimmer ones, let me just show them to you. That's the first one. You see, that's a beautiful color. They are a bit chalky. But honestly, that does not bother me if that is an issue with you. I mean, if you know it's going to bother you, then don't even bother buying this palette. Because they are a bit chalky. But then again, I do have my Lorac Pro Palette. And my Lorac Pro Palette is super chalky. It's like the same as chalky as this one. So, And I paid 50 bucks for that one, or 45 Uh So yeah, these were the colors from the Sultry and Neutrals. And in this palette, let me see, there are, the only dupe that I can tell you right now 
it's like a close dupe. This very last one right here, like when you open the palette like this, I just hope I don't blind you. When you open the palette, the very last one, this color is like a dead-on dupe for Smog from the Urban Decay palette. It's uh, this one right here. So this one, let me see. I don't, I don't even think I could put them together. These two are like dupes for each other. And I have them right here. You probably can't really tell on the on the camera. Very, very similar. I mean, obviously the Urban Decay ones are more pigmented, but I mean for four bucks, five bucks, you're still getting like a dupe here. So that's like pretty much the only dupe that I found on this one yeah and also like the the naked and i mean these two right here like i said these are very similar to the naked color on the naked palette one so yeah the next one is the midnight fever once again it still has that same packaging you open it and these are the colors right here these are more darker colors and again, you get the eyeliner and you get the doe foot applicator. The eyeliner is really good, by the way. Let me show you real quick about the eyeliner. This is what it looks like. And let me swatch it. Like, it's a really nice eyeliner. It's not, like, harsh or anything like that. I can actually put it on my waterline. Uh, with no problem. My mirror is like really far away. Okay, there it is. And I love it. I really do like this eyeliner. I actually used it on my top line. Anyways, on with the palette. So you're getting a, like here you are getting two mattes. It looks like two or three mattes. Like this like darker, kind of like black color. And then this uh, grayish, it does have a little bit of shimmer, so I guess I wouldn't count that as a matte. And then this one dark brown color. This palette from the both from I mean, the both of the palettes, this was like more pigmented. This one does have more color payoff. Let me just show you really quick in order. Look at that brown. It's a black one. And you have this one. This one's a bit chalky. Just letting you know. Like, look. And that's because I want like that. Uh, it's, it's a bit chalky, but it still has a color payoff. Then you have this one. Then you have this brown one, which doesn't have much pigmentation. Uh, let's see this one. You see that one? Really pretty. Let me wipe them off really quick. On with this one, like this pink. It's like a pinkish color. You got this like brown one, another one that's chalky. They're all chalky, guys. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, they're all chalky. This one, and then the last one. Okay. Uh, they're all chalky, like I was saying, but I really, I don't mind them being chalky. If you do, if you're one that you know, you don't like chalky eyeshadows, then just keep away from this palette. Okay. So, here I did find some dupes also. Um, this second color right here, like when you open the palette like this, it's going to be the ninth one because you have ten colors. The ninth one, this one, is a dupe for gunmetal on the naked one. Is it gunmetal? Yeah. Gunmetal. It's not exactly the same, but it's so similar. Um, again, it's chalky, but here it is. Very, very similar. I think they're like brothers. The dark horse here. Dark horse is this one right here. That one does also have a similar color here, which is the fourth one. One, two, three, four. These two are very similar also. Let me put them together. I think these are like more like twins. 
you see that right here this one is um, smog and this one's the one from the palette from the midnight fever which one else i think toasted from the naked palette that one is very also similar to the fifth one on this palette and these are the ones side by side you know they're a bit i mean obviously they're not identical but they're so similar right there i'm not trying to say this is an exact dupe for i mean it's supposed to be a review but i'm also doing like a review slash comparison um it's not an exact dupe for the naked one or naked two it does have uh, some similar colors which that makes it like a great alternative for those of you that don't have the naked palettes this is definitely a great like chance to get your hands on some color colors that are very similar packaging is very similar too I really like the packaging if you don't have the money to spend these because these together are a hundred bucks and these together were just 10 bucks so it's like 90 percent of the price i really don't know if they sell them anywhere else i really i'm really sorry i try to search it up apparently they're like on the holiday collection like to the 2012 so if you have a walgreens near you and don't have them in stock ask the excuse me anyway sorry about that um yeah if you don't if you have a walgreens near you and they don't have them in stock definitely ask the the you know anybody there and ask them if they have it in stock or you know try to like call around and ask for these palettes because the last time i checked uh at the ones that i have two near me but they don't have them like they ran out they sold out fast and i had to get mine like 15 20 minutes away from where i live so and i was so glad to get them but I say they're a great buy. I know I've also heard some other girls that, you know, they didn't like it because they're chalky. Just letting you know right now that, I mean, they are chalky. So if you're a girl that maybe already has these colors and you don't like chalky eyeshadows or, you know, just just skip on it. Don't even bother. I mean, just save your 10 bucks. Don't even spend them on that. But for those of you out there that don't mind that, because I know I don't mind it either. Um the swatches that i just showed you are without a primer i'm actually using this one on the bottom stay all day from essence and this glammy ghost too these are very similar to the maybelline color tattoos or mac paint pots they're very similar it really it's a really nice base so i'm wearing that underneath probably just on my on my lid and then everything else is just from both of these palettes so yeah this review is so long i'm so sorry so that was my review guys i really hope i didn't leave anything out i still have the giveaway going on just in case you guys haven't seen that um i'll put the link down below as well as other videos that i've been making you guys can check them out if you want to thank you so much for uh subscribing and i'm so happy to see my new sub well i don't see you guys right but if you're my new subscriber Thank you so much for subscribing. You guys are so wonderful. I am writing down requests that people have been asking me, asking me to do. Uh, what else? If you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Don't forget that. And I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know. Mm. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.